Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. We are here today to talk about Clubhouse, one of the newest social media platforms out there. This one's a little bit different. It is audio only, it is invite only. It is still within its beta stages, meaning that it's still being developed, designed, tested, and new features being deployed all the time. It is proving to be very popular. It has been around since 2020, at the time of doing this video, which is January 2021. Um, I can see that there's not much support or training videos out there, so I thought I'd put something together to help new people on their journey with using this platform. I'm a great fan of it. I think it's fantastic. It's a great way for people to network in different arenas uh, across multiple levels of uh, engagement. You know, you can speak to people with certain business interests and it's just a great collaboration tool, often referred to as a live version of a po podcast. So um, there's going to be multiple videos in this uh, on this topic. The first video, i.e. this one, is going to be uh, how to install the application. It's only available on iPhone at the minute. Um, how to uh, get it set up, how to get an invite, and um, we'll start off by downloading the application. So I'm doing a screen grab on my iPhone here, and we'll, we'll do this for the majority of the training. So first and foremost, we need to download the application. Clubhouse is currently only available on iPhones. There isn't an official notification saying when Android or other platforms are supported, but um, I think many Android users are waiting for that. So let's get into it. So let's search for Clubhouse. Now, be careful you're downloading the correct application. So you want to be looking for the application at the top here that says Clubhouse drop in audio chat. Notice there's another project management software called Clubhouse. That's the wrong one. So it's the top one we're after. If I click into it, you can see uh, there are some notes and some bits and pieces about the platform, some ratings, etc. As I said, it is beta or beta as pronounced in um, other areas. So we're going to download it. And that will start the download procedure on, the, on our telephone here. So that is downloaded. So that should be on my desktop. There it is. So if I go straight into it and open it, so it says here, we're working hard to get Clubhouse ready for launch. While we're wrapping up the finishing touches, we're adding people gradually to make sure nothing breaks. So what that means, guys, is it's an invite-only platform at the minute. You can only get in if you have an invite or you know somebody else who's already in the application, and I'll cover that shortly. So first and foremost, even if you don't know anyone today, you can still reserve your username. So let's do that. We're going to click on Get Your Username. So everything is linked to your mobile or cellular telephone number. And that's how it uniquely identifies who you are. So on this telephone here, I'm based in the UK in England. I've got a telephone number that I'm going to register Clubhouse to. So I've typed in my number. Obviously, it states at the bottom, by entering your number, you agree to the policies. It will then proceed to register and send a text message to this handset. I can see here it's come through 1728. I'll pop that in there and it's going to ask me for some names. So there's my name there. So I'm just going to register this one under this. And it's then going to ask me for a username. So if I choose something that's no doubt going to be in use, oh, let's say Paul, this username has already been taken. So you just want to type type different things so i'm going to try brownies already been taken so the name i've actually really wanted was this one here which is the profile i'm going to set up today fantastic it now says we've reserved the account for you so very important if you don't have an iphone yet or you um aren't in a position or know anyone to let you in reserve your screen name guys because that'll be crucial for the future so it says here the name's reserved and we now need a text. So I actually have another iPhone that does have another Clubhouse account, which does have a spare invite in there. So what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to send an invite from my other handset to here to notify that there is a um, 
uh, an invite available to enable the account. So I'm on my other iPhone. I'm about to send a invite to this handset advising off an ad. There you go. I have invited you to the application and it's asking for a read receipt. We'll click OK. So on there, that's an invite that I've sent from my other application. You would hopefully have a friend or a colleague or somebody who could invite you. So what that means is um, my mobile number is registered as having an invite. So if we go back into the application, it signs in. It has shown the person who's invited you and confirming who you are. So it's asking you to then set up your profile. You can import it from Twitter or at the bottom you can put put your info in manually. So click on that. Asks you for your full name. That's the name I pseudo name I put in earlier. Pick a username which we confirmed earlier. This is add a uh, photograph. So I take one from my photo library. Um, if I go to favorites, there we go. There's a photograph. So usually you would add a photograph of yourself. Very important that you add a clear photograph that clearly shows who you are. It doesn't have to be yourself, but bearing in mind it's a social media platform where people are going to be talking to one another. Important that you show what you look like. What lots of people do on the platform, they have a very bright background um, or they can have a specific colour as their background. Yellow or lime green is very popular because it then shows you um, in a chat and you'll see that uh, in a little bit more. So if I click on next here, it will ask me to find friends already on Clubhouse, tap allow. So this is syncing the application with your contacts. Very important you do this, guys. And this is because if one of your friends then subsequently tries to get into Clubhouse, you should get a notification letting you know if any of your subsequent friends are trying to get on, even if you don't have any invites left. And I'll cover invites shortly. So I'm just going to click OK, OK, and then confirm at the bottom. It then asks you about your interests. This shows a list of interests. And whilst you can skip and do this later on, I highly recommend you do this now. Reason being, the application will show you which groups and which audio groups and clubs um, are available to you, particularly the chat groups. Because if you specify, as an example on here, your interest in current events, social issues, economics, markets, um, I don't know if I just quickly randomly choose some stuff there's lots of categories here I'm randomly just choosing stuff and when I get into the application it will show me which groups are related to these topics or interests as they're called here so for anybody you follow it will show you which rooms they're in and you can join those audio chats if you don't have any friends or don't that, that are on the platform of course and if they're not in a room then it will show you the next best aligned to your interests. so that's why it's very important to select your interests so i'm gonna do that and then at the bottom find people it will then check the database against the interests that i've put in it will then come back with output and here we are. It shows you people on the platform who will be related in respect to the interest that you've alluded to. So there's uh, the top two guys, they're the founders of the uh, fantastic application. So I'm just going to just leave all those ticks on there and just click follow. You can, of course, have selected individuals and individually unticks and stuff. But I've left lots of ticks on on purpose and you'll see why in a second. So I want to allow notifications. And there we go. We are now in the application. So this is the front home page. You can see right at the top, you now have two invites. So the application gives you two invites for you to invite two people you know to get them into the community. Um, you've then got any pre-planned or um, uh, chats that somebody's already pre-booked. So there was one at 1500. 
Clubhouse Town Hall. I'm pretty sure that's for new people to discuss uh, Clubhouse. I think the, the, the founders do attend those. Um, there's a chat at uh, 7 p.m. talking about property and real estate investing. Um, and there's another one at um, 9 o'clock. I'm guessing that's tomorrow morning. So if I just scroll up, you can see different rooms. So first one's called The Power of Social Media. Next one, mindset, strategy, and leadership development, and so on. So there's only a few rooms there because uh, I don't have a lot of following um, in terms of friends on here yet. We've just not set it up. There is a, bottom, a, a button at the bottom that says explore. You can click on explore, and it shows you some other rooms, which will mostly be uh, attributed to the interests we selected beforehand. So you can see here there are some groups. Now, later on, I'll cover clubs and how that interacts with the groups. But just to finish off the video, I wanted to talk about the invite mechanism. So whilst if I click on here, I have two invites, um, usually it will come up at the bottom with any contacts. This mobile or cell device doesn't have any contacts on it. Therefore, it's not listing any names. If it did, you'd be able to click in there and search for um, a friend. And it's important that you make sure that the name is correct and you invite the right person. You do not have a facility to bring a invite back or a send an invite. The app just doesn't have that functionality. The app developers have also said there's no immediate plans to have that introduced in the very near future. So be careful who you invite. If you sent an invite to someone who doesn't have an iPhone and they've only got an Android, again, that invite cannot be used up until a point they um, buy an iPhone or the app developers uh, deploy um, an Android facing version. So <clears throat> that's the invite section, guys. But you recall from earlier when um, we did the setup, the uh, phone was synced with the appropriate contact. Obviously, I've stated there's no contacts on this telephone. However, if your number is in a colleague's or friend's um, telephone and you've signed up for Clubhouse, they should, and I'll emphasize the word should, get a pop-up saying, can you let person XYZ in? And they'll get a little blue bar at the top to allow you in. So that's another way around of getting an invite in. So guys, that's the access to the platform covered, how to download the app, how to get an invite, how to register, how you get yourself on there. So the next video is going to cover um, your profile and um, how to navigate the overall application. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please comment any recommendations for future videos. Please subscribe to the channel.